Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kyra and today I'm bringing to you the makeup that I'm packing for the one to two weeks after I move before I unpack my beauty room and get things set up again. Any guesses on how much stuff I picked? <laughs> As we tend to do on the internet here, we like to overshare about what's going on in our lives. And one of those things is the makeup that I'm packing to take with me when we move into our new house. If you've missed our big news, I will link down below in the description box the big news and channel update video I made recently. But before we get into all of that, I just want to say a very special welcome to you if you're new here. My name is Kyra and I hope you will consider subscribing before you leave if you like what you see today. It's free, it's easy, and it helps you find my videos Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday when I upload. And allegedly, if you ring that notification and allegedly, if you ring that notification bell to all, YouTube will let you know when that happens. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna start with my base products. Of course, I'm going to have my sunscreen. This is the Coats Face Prime and Protect Tinted SPF 40, and this is a matte finish. The only two like foundation-y type products that I'm bringing, I have this little sample of the Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator in the shade light neutral 20 in if I don't finish this up before the actual move but otherwise I do have the first aid beauty ultra repair tinted moisturizer I have mine in the shade sand and it is an SPF 30 you'll notice that I didn't put any primers in here and that is because this SPF very much acts as a primer specifically this one but even the one that I wear for the rest of the year I just went ahead and picked up the matte one this time um, kind of going out of order but setting spray I'm going to take the Milani fruit fetish make it last in the scent mango coconut love 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 this bought a backup which I don't do very often for concealer, I have two here, but I'm not for sure I need both, but we'll see. I have one more everyday and one that's a little bit more full coverage. The more everyday one is the Maybelline Fit Me. I just love this. This is so good. It's just so dang good, and it's so cheap, too. So I really love that, and I'm definitely taking that one with. And then my full coverage option, which is the one I have on today, it's Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer in the shade Light. The Maybelline is also in the shade Light. I just feel like maybe I do need a more full coverage concealer. I've definitely had a little bit more blue in this region than I typically do. Lack of sleep, not feeling the greatest, so there you go. Um, in terms of powder, I'm just taking my number seven perfect light pressed powder huge pan so I hope it's enough powder for bronzer I have two a cream and a powder the cream is my Fenty Beauty Tantour which is pretty new to me this is in the shade fair looks like this it is the bronzer that I have on today and I really like this it's really relatively quick for a cream product I like to use my sponge and just go straight in so long as the sponge is clean of course and then for my powder bronzer I picked the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush matte bronzer in the shade medium mostly picked this one because I haven't used it as much as I think I should have used it for the price of it it also has a really nice big mirror in here so that might come in handy for blush this might crack you up a little bit I chose four cream bronzer <laughs> cream bronzers I picked four cream blush and while that seems a little excessive two of them are newer to me and I want to continue using them but let's just go through them real quickly. I am bringing the Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Puff. It's just this beautiful pink color. 
I am taking two, <laughs> count them, two Flower Beauty blush bombs. This is my original one in the shade Pinched. And then I just got this shade, which is a really beautiful peachy shade. It's part of what I have on my cheeks today. And then this is the shade Nectar. And then the last one is the Nude Sticks blush. This is the Nudies Matte All Over Face Bronze Color. Oh, it has a brush on that side, which is essentially useless. But this is the shade of it. And I just love this. It looks like sunburn <laughs> for my skin tone. And I really like that look lately. So I want to bring that along. And then, of course, I'm bringing some powder blushes, and the ones that I'm bringing are in this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Quad Ghost Edition. <laughs> but I feel like there's just about everything I could need in here. This is very nude and almost very highlighty, maybe more of a topper or a mixer with one of these other shades. This, of course, is a beautiful dusty rose. This is more of a corally warm tone blush. And then a really nice pink that, while it looks kind of cool tone, is definitely warm tone on my skin tone. And last but not least, for highlighter, I'm only taking one. It's this one from Nabla. It's the, oh, super long name, Skin Glazing Gloss Skin Finish Glow Powder in the shade Privilege. This is so pretty. Again, this is what I have on today. I don't think a swatch will do it justice, but it's gold, it's peach, it's pink, it's champagne. It's everything you want it to be, and it absolutely looks stunning. It does give that glass, fin glass skin effect, which is what I really like about it, and something I really don't have otherwise in my collection. For eye primer, say it with me, MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. This is just the one that works best for me and it's really easy to use. And then, let's talk eyeshadow. I have one single cream eyeshadow that I am bringing with me. You can probably guess what it is. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize Cream Shadow in the shade Marie Antoinette. This is a total one and done product for me, so I'm sure I'll use it a lot in the first couple weeks after the move, just because I can swipe it on, throw some mascara on, and be on my way. But, move some of this stuff out of the way. Ooh. This is really hard. I have four palettes, but I happen to know I'm going to order a new palette tomorrow, which I will definitely take with me on the move, and that is the new Natasha Denona Glam Palette. But I have these four picked out, so hear me out. I think I know which one I can take out, um, but starting off my Natasha Denona Bronze Palette, this plus the... Glam, the mini glam palette, not mini glam, the glam palette in this size, the $65 one that just came out. Between this one and that one, I feel like I probably have all the neutrals that I could need. However, I do also want to really bring my Sahara palette from Alter Ego. Let's hold these up side by side, these first two, and see what we have. I'm not good at holding multiple things. Okay. Yeah. This doesn't have like a perfect bronze shade in it for me where this one does. Also, this one has that lighter shade for an inner corner highlight, but I also have my highlighter. I don't... Oh no, did I... Oh no, I really gouged my finger in there. Where did, what happened? Oh no, go back in there, go into your home. Oh man, this is not good. What a mess. Okay, so the one I think I can probably take out but I kind of wanted to bring is this Savannah palette from C Color Cosmetics. This ha is an all matte palette, has a lot of beautiful mattes in it. And, you know, it's a lot of color stories represented here, yellow, orange, pink, 
plum, blue, gray, green. <laughs> so that's the one I probably could take out. And then I also have the Blush Crush palette from ColourPop here. And I really, I mean, there's no pink represented in these palettes here. So part of me wants to take this with me as well. And there's some different shades in here that I don't feel like are represented in these other palettes. So, hmm. hmm. I'm gonna think on it while we talk about the rest of the products. I have this cup here and this has like miscellaneous shenanigans. I got lip liners in here, brow pencils, my two different brow gels, um, tweezers, my wet and wild brown eyeliner, my nude liner, got my little, um, you know, lip shaver, <laughs> that kind of stuff. And then for mascara, I have two open, so I'm taking them both. I have my Milk Makeup Kush Mascara as well as my Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. So I'm taking both of those. Let us talk lips. All right, I have seven sitting here besides liners, and I have another one coming in the mail. You see, I'm not 100% sure on my choices, but one thing I know that I wanna take with me is my Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution lipstick in Very Victoria. This is just one of my favorite nude lipsticks. And then another one that I've been loving lately is this Nude Sticks Gel Color Lip and Cheek Balm. So it doubles as a blush as well. I've not worn it as a blush yet, but I do really love, it's sort of a see-through gel, like a gel eyeliner texture almost. And so it's very tenacious on the lips, but it's just a soft, rosy pink color, very wearable, very everyday, something that could be worn with a minimal makeup look for sure. And then the next three fall under the category of easy peasy. And that is, I have two of the Revlon um, Glass Shine lipsticks. I have the shade Glazed Mauve and the shade nude illuminator and these are just great for applying or reapplying throughout the day here's nude illuminator and here is glazed mauve glazed mauve yes very similar to the nude sticks one but glazed mauve is more like a tinted balm whereas the nude stick one is a little more longer lasting terrible english before we get into gloss I wanna say that the lipstick that is on its way to me is the mini of the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick as well as the Pillow Talk Lip Cheat Liner. So I will also have that. And then one gloss I can't live without is my Rimmel Stay Glossy and Blushing Belgraves. I'm swatching these awkwardly on my hand because I still have that swatch of the highlighter. But here's Blushing Belgraves. Love this for highlighting the center of my lips, making them look juicy. And then another one, like a fun standalone product that I use quite a bit is this Bobbi Brown Crushed Oil Infused Gloss. This is the shade Free Spirit right here. And this is definitely something I would wear by itself. Really easy to chuck on. And I really kind of want to include my Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper in Luminoso. It's, it's good by itself. It's beautiful over other lipsticks and lip liners. So I think I'm gonna bring that one. And that's lips. Now we're back to palettes. All right, I do think I'm gonna go ahead and let go of the Savannah palette put that back into my collection and pack it up and bring the Blush Crush, the Sahara. I have to have a beautiful bronze in my collection and so I think I want this one that's in here and Natasha Denona Bronze and then Natasha Denona Glam Palette. So that's 
that. Now, real quickly, I'm going to show you the things I'm going to use to pack up what I'm taking with me versus what I'm like packing, packing to go. I'm transporting all of my makeup myself in our vehicle, our personal vehicle. It's not going with the movers, so <laughs> no worries there. But in terms of the makeup that I'm keeping out, this is what I'm gonna pack. I have it, this little Sephora bag here that I got as a gift one time. In here, in this little, I think this is Estee Lauder, yeah. I've got some of my little makeup eraser things here, and this is where my palettes are going. And there's plenty of room in there for one more. And then, this is the one, just so you know, this is another Estee Lauder one. My neighbor used to buy the crap out of Estee Lauder and she'd always give me the bags. But this is the one that I'm taking my skincare in. And then I have this bag here, which is where most of the makeup is going to go. And I'll show you. This is a Yummy Kim. <laughs> um, bag that I got in FabFitFun. So it has this big part down here, which is where I'll put like blush, bronzer, highlight, all that good stuff. And then up top here, you have this one, which is probably where I will put like eyeliners and things like that. And then right here, you have a little brush slot, which is where I'll put my face brushes. And for my eyeshadow brushes, I love this little bag and I can try and link it down below if it's sold separately. This is from one of my favorite brush brands, which is Delium Tools. If you ever see me um, using these with the blue handle, these are Delium Tools. I do have a code and I can put it down in the description box in case you're interested in looking at any of their brushes and I do get a free brush if you make an order so if you do that thank you in advance but this is the brush holder that my collection of brushes came in I got 15 brushes so you zip it open like this and then you fold this part down and it makes this little cup and not only is it got a divider inside here so you can keep some brushes separate from others but then you also have this little thing in the front if you want to like if you're traveling and you want to like maybe stick your spoolie right there or your eyelash curler or what have you so this is what my brushes will be traveling in so yay <laughs> one thing down um so we're getting ever closer to our move here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I'm gonna be taking with me or leaving out when we pack to move. Let me know down below, are you surprised? Did you think it would be more? Did you think it would be less? You think I'm crazy? What are your thoughts on what I chose? Um, palettes were definitely hard, but honestly, the category I had the most trouble deciding on, which is why I brought two, was bronzer. Blush, I knew what I wanted to bring based on what was new, based on what I'm using a lot, which is cream products, as well as the Ghost palette, which has just nice options. They mix beautifully and, and things like that. But the bronzer was absolutely ridiculously hard to choose. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, you could give it a thumbs up for me because I would really appreciate it. And I hope all of your makeup days are absolutely beautiful makeup days. And I will see you in my next video real soon.